John Hens of Stone Lanka registered a buzzer beating knockout to get back on track in highlight reel fashion at One Fight Night 13 on Prime Video this past Friday, August 4. The former one bantamweight MMA world champion and current number one contender fended off a spirited challenge from Kim Jae Woo, but he rallied back to score the KO with just seconds remaining in their 151 pound catchweight clash in Bangkok. Thailand. Reflecting on the battle, Lanka admits he was taken aback by the South Korean slugger's choice of tactics. But despite that initial shock at the fighting gods, decision to grapple. The veteran Brazilian drew on all of his experience to keep pushing forward and land the finishing blow when it mattered most. Hands of Stone said afterward. It was very gratifying when I came out with the victory. I'm very happy with this win. He did surprise me. I didn't expect him to come wrestling. He surprised me when he got me down but I have a very good jiu-jitsu instructor. I managed to survive there. And the fight turned my way. It's extremely rare to see a stoppage so late into a 15-minute contest, but Lanka had no intention of bringing the judges into play. Looking back, the longtime star feels that his win at 4.56 of round 3 was proof of his unrelenting desire to finish a fight no matter how slim the odds may seem. Lanka explained. I tried to knock him out until the end. My coaches told me I had to keep on going. I always go for the knockout. I don't like to leave the fight in the hands of the judges. I didn't know it was four seconds from the end. But my corner was telling me, believe, believe, believe and the knockout came. Following John Lanka's blistering 4-0 start in one, a stretch that carried him to the bantamweight MMA throne, his fortunes changed when he came up against fellow Brazilian Fabricio Andrade. Hands of Stone lost a goal when he missed weight for their first bout in October 2022. And after settling for a no contest that evening, he was stopped by Wonder Boy in their world title rematch. For the vacant belt earlier this year. Now back in the win column, there's only one thing on Lanka's mind, redemption against the reigning divisional king. I'm here to become a champ. I'm here to retrieve what's mine. So, I certainly want Fabricio Andrade next. I think that if I fight him again, I'll show him what I'm capable of. The pair fought in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and Bangkok, Thailand, halfway around the world for Lanka. But a stone's throw away from Andrade, who now resides in Phuket, Thailand. With the benefit of hindsight, Lanka believes that a change in his preparation and fight camp would allow him to perform at a higher level in a third battle with Wonder Boy. He added, I'm going to come to Asia earlier so I can fight on an even table with him. I've got to get here earlier. It's very difficult to fight coming from Brazil in a short time and fighting people that live here 